Hello my crafty friends. This is Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. I am here today with another haul. Um, the other day when I showed my haul, I had a couple of friends, YouTube friends, that asked me if I would go back to the thrift store and see if I could get them some of these books. So I was able to get four more and so they will be going out to a couple of um, ladies that, that requested them. And um, while I was there, of course, I had to have a look around, which <laughs> could have been a bad thing, but maybe not a bad thing. Anyway, they, I hit the doilies today. They had tons of doilies. And I got a lot of them. Um, I don't think I got them all because I didn't dig all the way through all five big bins. But I did find enough. And um, they were 50 cents a piece. I also got this big tablecloth. Now it's got some stains on it and I don't care about that. Um, I'm hoping some of them might come out when I wash it. But we'll see. Anyway, it's all it's all hand done. It's cross stitched and the entire thing is full of these beautiful roses and this trim here is around the bottom and then this is on the corners and it's just beautiful. I'm, I was so happy to find it. And even if it doesn't, uh, you know, come clean, it doesn't matter. There's just so much beautiful hand work in, on it until it's, it's fine with me. I just, I love it. And for actually for 49 cents, you know, I had to bring it home. And then I found another one for 49 cents. And this one, is um, also stained as you can see but it's big also and hand done and this one um, what I liked about it if I can get it I don't know if I can get it well maybe you can see it has all of these um, little crochet pieces in it where they crocheted these uh, pieces in and this is all um, cross stitched by hand with these pretty um, pink crochet, little pink crochet flowers. So anyway, I, I can't, it's so big, I can't really get it unfolded all the way to find a place where I can actually get it. Well, here I can. So can you see the pretty little crochet piece there and it's like all around the the thing and then it's got these pretty roses so um, yeah I thought I knew I could salvage enough of this for 49 cents so I got this I apologize if I'm not getting these things in here just right for you to see those were kind of big then I found this, and this is probably about six feet long, and it's this wide, which is about two feet wide, and it's just full of little crocheted doilies. So there's a lot of those, and all of these things, everything was was 49 cents so you know I I got quite a bit and uh, let's see give me just a second um, these were three for a dollar because I guess they were I don't know they just were um, and what I like about these is that you can stamp in the middle of them. 
and <clears throat> excuse me, they have these little uh, embroidered, um, they're not really French knots, I don't know exactly what you call them, and I think they're probably uh, done by machine, but I do like these because you can stamp in them, so there were three of those for a dollar. <clears throat> And then there was two of these for 50 cents. These are kind of like tatting, I guess. It looks like tatting, but might just be crocheted. I can't uh, say that I'm an expert because I'm not. And then this one was 50 cents. And then this was 50 cents, and it's kind of beat up and I think I can come in just a little bit now that I think I've gotten all the big big things out of the way. Um, it's got little holes in it and it's a little bit beat up a little and you know stained a little bit but but I still liked it and then um, I found this and it was screaming to come home with me. It said, take me too, take me too, because it was pretty beat up. <laughs> it has this, this beautiful, delicate lace. I have some antique pieces that look an awful lot like this. Um, as far as the handwork goes on it, I hope you can see it. Uh, it's just it's really pretty and it's very very beat up it's old and been used a lot and I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be it's long and narrow and it's got a bunch of holes in it where something's been eating at it <laughs> and some rust but I loved the lace. I just thought it was so pretty. So there again, for 49 cents, it, it wanted to come home with me too. So it did. And then I found this, which I have no idea about this. I can't even tell you if it's I don't think it's handmade, but I thought it was pretty, and so I got it too. And then there was this piece, which I know is, is uh, it's a machine, machine made, because it's very um, textured here, but it's got this like filet lace on it, so. There's that. And I'm hoping that some of these might be a little cleaner, will, you know, look a little better after they're washed, which I'm going to do tomorrow. It's supposed to be a beautiful day, so I'm going to wash them and hang them outside to dry. Um, now, this is very stiff. It's been starched, but it has this beautiful... Um, embroidered flower and trim around it and the lace is is beautiful it's like a tatting and it's all the way around it and I'm not sure what's going to happen when I wash it um, I'm not sure if I should wash this part because it's all laying so nice and flat and if I wash it, it's going to be all curled up. So I haven't decided yet if I want to take this trim off and then wash this or leave the trim alone. I just, I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm going to work that out. Um, I guess I'll figure it out at some point. And then I got two of these only because I liked the little uh, hand-stitched flower. Uh, they, these were hand-done, you can tell from the back. And there was a ton of these. I only picked up two because I have so much of this stuff already. 
but I did get two of them. And then I found two uh, doilies that were colorful. There was this one, and it's got some very odd little flowers on it, or whatever. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. Some kind of flowers or something. Anyway, I got this one, and then there was this one with the red trim on it, and it's a that's an odd kind of a thing, too. See how they put that together? I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. But I didn't have one like that, so I picked up that. And then, let's see, there's one thing here with some green on it around the edges. I'm not even sure if you can see that. It's coming up it's it's coming unraveled. There's the string when where it's coming unraveled right here around the edge. So there's that. And then I got some other doilies. Let me move some of these out of the way. Before my pile gets too high. Some of these are looking like they're in kind of bad shape. But I got them anyway. We can always, you know, just snip them and use little pieces. So there's this one. And this is a nice one here. I'm going to move these out of the way now as I show them because all the rest of them are pretty manageable. This is a pretty one. I like the size. That would go over the top of a journal cover very easily, I think. And then there was this, which I'm not real partial to the thicker embroidery thread. Um, I like the thinner better, but this has four that can be cut apart. And I think there was another one of these also, um, just like it maybe. Then there was this, which could be cut apart, and uh, these kind are, these is, this is that thick um, crochet thread too. But what's, what's good about these thick ones is they're great for doily books. So if you're making a doily book, a cupcake book, whatever you want to call it, uh, those, are, those are good for that. Then there was this kind of big one here, which is probably too big for me to do anything with as a whole piece. But look at all these, these little doilies that's in there. I will definitely be cutting those up and then all of this trim can be used. So nothing really goes to waste. There's a way to use it. And this one is stiff. I think it's been starched. Um, I'll see how that is tomorrow when I wash it. I think I got about 30 of these today. This is another kind of a thick one, but I really like the trim around it. And I think when I cut this center out, it'll make a very pretty um, trim to go along the bottom of something. Mm. I love this one. This is it's really pretty. I just, I really like this. It's about the weight of the doilies that I like. And I like the color and the pattern. And I like that one a lot. Now, I didn't ask you how you were today. I hope everyone's doing well. As for me, I am doing just fine. Um, this one's in pretty bad shape. 
this this uh, there's a, quite a bit of staining on this, but that's okay. Um, I don't mind when I cut these. I can use them for the bases for flowers and stuff. And then this is another uh, different type of a piece here. This is, um, it's also been starched. It's very stiff. I'm not sure, but I think these might have all came from the same um, lady or household or whatever you want to call it. There was a big box inside the bin. And... Uh, it was open, and there was still some things in it, but most of the stuff had been looked through. And I'm not sure, but I oh, I think these doilies might have been in that big box that was donated. But anyway, um, this is a kind of a, a different type of a piece. It's got a butterfly on it. And then the bottom is, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly... Um, how you would use this one, but I'm sure I can figure out something <laughs> at some point. I have a few odd shaped doilies. I'll probably just put that in with the rest of them. And then this is kind of kind of grubby. <laughs> but it's very, very soft. Very soft. It's got cut work on it and all these little, they kind of, they, they look like double French knots. They're big, but um, I don't know what kind of uh, crochet that is. I know a French knot's not crochet, but they, they're kind of like that. They, they remind me of French knots. Um, and even though it's in, you know, it's this, it's pretty stained up and yellow and dingy. I love it. I really like that piece. And I just have a few more to show if you're still here. Um, this is a piece that could be cut apart and get some smaller doilies out of, plus these big doily connectors here in the center. Um, would be nice to use for something. Because we don't throw those away either. <laughs> we keep those too. Here's another oldie but goodie. <laughs> you see the right side of it. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's the right side and what's the wrong side. This is the right side here. Mm. You can see some rust spots on that one. You know what? I said that this is the right side. I was wrong. Okay. There you go. Still pretty, uh, it almost looks like cigarette burns, sort of, but I think it's rust. And let's see what else. This one's big, but I grabbed it anyway. I didn't want to leave it there all by itself. So I brought it to this one. I'll be, I'll be cutting pieces of this off and using it for something. I might have to get the old ironing board out by the time I finish getting all these washed. I love this one. This is very, um, very soft, very delicate. And here's another one of those to cut apart. Um, I think this one's called, I think this pattern's called pinwheel. I'm not sure, but I think I've heard it called that before. So, 
it can be cut apart. Oh, this is the side, this is the right side right here. Okay, and then there's this one. This is another one of those, those kind of a little bit puffy that I'm not real thrilled about. I don't know which is this. This is the right side here. I had it right to start with. There's that one. I like the pattern. I think it's pretty. And then there's this big one here. I'm trying to see which is the right side this is. Okay, so there's that. And one more. And it's a uh, um, it's not fancy or anything. I don't know what uh, pattern that is. It's uh, it's not a real thick thread, crochet thread. It's kind of a medium, I guess. And if, I think it's been starched also. So, you know, they'll get real floppy when they're washed. So, and they were probably starched a hundred years ago <laughs> from the looks of them. So that was the last of the doilies. And then I got this box. Let me come back out. I can show it to you. Um, there we go. It was two dollars, and I just got it because I thought, you know, I could put some things in it. Need to clean it up a little bit. So that was my haul, and I told my husband, I'm not planning to go back to the thrift stores any more this month, <laughs> which means I'm not going this weekend, <laughs> staying home. So, so anyway, that is it. So if you're still here, I sure do appreciate you sticking around and looking at the, all of the doilies that I found today. Um, it's hard to find laces and doilies anymore at my thrift stores. They just don't don't seem to have very many anymore. Maybe I bought them all up. <laughs> that could be. Um, and then too, most of the time, they've they've went up on their prices, and I just I just not willing to pay them because, for one thing, I just don't don't really need anymore. But when I find them for forty nine cents a piece, um, then that's a good that's a good day of thrifting. <laughs> so today was a good day. And so I'm going to say goodbye for now. I hope that everyone will be safe, be happy, take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.